Meet Blueberry. My converted shuttle bus. Let's do a walk around tour here. All right, so first on the outside, we have the car batteries down here. There's two car batteries. Um, these are only for the engine and everything actually car related. They do have an automatic shut off switch here, which is pretty awesome. So you never have to actually disconnect the batteries. They also come in and out right here, maybe. Um, they come in and out so they're easy access to replace them which is pretty neat so that's the car batteries and then um, I installed a 30 amp outlet here um, this goes directly to the inverter it is a dually so it has two tires in the back which there you go two tires um, this is the side door so it's like the side garage door in a sense this is where the lift was um there's extra stuff in here there's also like a trailer hitch that hasn't um, been installed but it will come with the bus and it has all the screws in this box as well for it um some extra like a bunch of extra stuff like electrical screws and whatnot come in here um it does come with a 65 gallon water tank and that's back there um it also has a heater installed, a water heater, water pumps back there. And then you can see the inlet over there um, where the water comes in. There's an outlet here. So if you're doing like grilling or anything, I had an electric grill in this. So this was really nice. So I would just set up a table right out here and then I would in just plug it in right there. This is the electrical panel. Um, so this one right here is for the water heater. Oops. This one right here is for the um, AC unit. And then these are all outlets. Um, so 15 amp outlets. Okay. It's pretty simple. This is the everything 240, 120 volt is in this. Um, what else? Yeah, there's a ton of room down here. Um, I had so much stuff in here I actually when I had the bus full with all my stuff it turns out like I fit my whole one bedroom apartment in this bus so it's it's super spacious awesome that's the side garage let's fix this and then this door actually locks so there is a key for that right there um, all of these exterior lights that you see here they all work and I'll show you that when we get to the inside. Just a bunch of lights. This is the back garage door. Um, it gives you a separate access, different view. Um, so the bus does come with like all the hoses, connection, electrical, um, and all that good stuff. And then this is the water tank. As you can see, it's huge. Like this will last me um, probably almost two weeks easily. So that's the garage. Awesome. And then um, over here, we do have all the water inlet. Um, it's locked right now, but um, there's the high pressure and the low pressure inlet. Um, it is a gasoline. So I left that on there for anybody that doesn't know. Over here, we also have the gray water tank. So this is also a 65 gallon water tank. Um, and it's actually built in there so that it, it um, meets the minimum ground, ground clearance for a vehicle, um, which is like, if I'm not wrong, it's like eight inches or something. Um, so that's built in there to meet that ground clearance. I've never had an issue with it um, or hit anything with it. Like it's definitely high enough to hit bumps and stuff um, and then under here also is the drain so um, this hooks up to the hoses and then you just open that drain and it flushes out all the gray water awesome that's on this side then we have the driver's side um, 
So it does have all like the manuals and stuff in here. You can pull the key out so it's not dinging. Okay, so driver's side, you can see here you got lights, um, all that good stuff. And I'll show you guys when I turn it on. Um, actually, let me turn it on right now. It has 117,783 miles. Um, no check engine lights are on. It's all clear. Obviously, we're not wearing a seatbelt right now, so that's on. Um, yeah, everything runs really smoothly on this car. Um, and then center console, I'll show you guys from the other side as well. Um, yeah, so there's one driver's seat. It does also have um this whole box of like emergency stuff so if your tire ever breaks and you're at the side of the road it does have that let me open the hood so i can show you guys the engine okay so here is the engine Smooth running, um, zero issues with it. It's got plenty of coolant. The battery is not there, obviously, because it's on the side of the bus. Um, yeah, it sits back there, so you have access from the inside of the vehicle. And then I'm gonna turn it off so you guys can hear me better as I talk a little bit more about the engine. So the other thing I wanted to point out about the engine is I did a coolant flush so this coolant's all brand new. The whole system's been flushed and that's because I put new hoses. So I put a new top hose right here and I put a new bottom hose with new clamps and everything in the bottom hose. hose is like down there somewhere. Um, so that's the engine. I also did a transmission flush um, less than a year ago and I've not put that many miles on it. So that's done as well so everything's running really smoothly on this car no issues at all that's the engine and then moving inside this is my favorite part to the home first of all i'm obsessed with these stairs aren't they beautiful i love these tiles um and then underneath here this towel is just for dirt and stuff but um there is like flooring there as well um, on the side here there's a vent for all the solar and then we have lights so these are actually dimmable lights which is pretty cool oops I turned it off um, so they do dim and and all that good stuff then we have um, the fan which also works and that's the max air fan super awesome it actually creates a nice breeze and keeps it like the fresh air in here you can switch it from like ingoing and outgoing air and you can switch the speeds and all that good stuff um so that's that there's also a curtain here um as well so moving on to the inside i just want to show you guys the door real quick I do have a extra lock installed here. This is really safe. If you lock this and you lock the door up here, it's literally physically impossible to open the door from the outside. And I've tried, so I know. Um, so really quickly, also on the door, when you system, there is ventilation and more outlets here. So this fan turns on with the switch over here. Um, and then it just, um, it just keeps the solar system stuff cool. There is vents over here and then the one I showed you guys on the side as well. There's two 12 volt thingies here, 120, more 120. I put plenty, plenty of outlets, like there's no running out of outlets in this bus. And I'll show you guys all of them. So that's kind of the area of the bench and the solar system. Put this mattress back. All right, so moving on to the kitchen. So let me turn the fridge off because it doesn't need to be on. There's nothing in there. There's like tons of storage though. Like drawers, more drawers. And then 
this cabinet right here it has three levels of storage uh there's all this underneath like it's a ton of storage you're also the water filters down here and then over here this gives you access to the drain that goes out of the bus so if it's ever needed as you can see it's formed and closed like there's no in and out um there's also like the ventilation and all that good stuff there's a door up here and then my countertop sink pretty proud of the sink it's pretty cool um and then we have i made this countertop myself it's just plywood and i uh put polyurethane, polyurethane on it does come with a camping stove as well more windows over here this window opens up again it slides same curtains as on the other side um and then more outlets back here so if you want like an electric um can opener or whatever whatever you want to plug in even a microwave actually i had a microwave in here so that plugs in there it's pretty neat um over on this side there is decor on the wall and then a mirror that's installed permanently and then the fridge obviously it's a dometic fridge so I actually had this fridge in my car as well um it runs really well and so if you keep things on the bottom it can cool them like to freezing so you can freeze things you can still have ice cream while the things on the top are more like refrigerator level cool so it's a really neat fridge and it has a lot of space inside of it um yeah and it does have an auto shut off switch so if your batteries get low in power it turns itself off and doesn't like compromise your batteries or anything like that um so that's basically the kitchen and then moving on back here into the bathroom this is my favorite area so again light switch Bum -bum. there's only one light in here only one light needed um there is two towel hangers and then the shower has really nice chrome fixtures and then we have the pan there is a simply toilet in here it is a composting toilet um super basic poop and pee are separate and then this does have a ventilation system installed in the bus so if you turn this on it vents and then it vents out of the bus directly okay um toilet and then i did also install a sink which i thought was neat and the electrical outlet there um yeah so i wanted this extra sink because i don't like brushing my teeth in my kitchen sink there's also the emergency exit hatch up here in the ceiling this is nice because you can actually open it up and then it just ventilates air so if you're showering you love hot showers um this is nice because it keeps ventilation over here we do have a humongous closet this door actually acts as a closet door and also your bathroom door if you want to if there's more than one of you in here so this closet's huge you got hangers at the top and then it, all the way down you got shelves it's got so much storage i literally fit all my clothes in here it's pretty neat uh that's the closet moving into the bedroom i have this ginormous queen size mattress in here and oh actually if you can see it lays on, I have a platform bed, so it lays on these things that create space between the platform and the mattress so there's no mold growth happening. And I did check this several times, as, long, uh, as well as like other places in the bus, there's literally no mold happening in here. Um, it's super good. And then this mattress is so comfortable, like you will sleep like a king or queen in here. Um, it is way bigger and thicker and heavier than like a normal rv mattress but i felt like it was so worth it to put this in here and have like solid sleeps another window over here um decor on the wall more outlets back here oh also the lights for the bedroom i put like so many lights and so many charging things in here like i wanted this to feel like a home um and then we have um, the back door, which you can see locks, so if you turn it down, no one can open it. Um, the side door, there's also a curtain on the inside, so this would hook into up there behind the shelf. And then um, it, you have that covered as well with curtains. 
So uh, there is these two shelves, which I had these buckets on them that I would just put stuff inside of them. Um, and that's where they sat and it was just like so much extra storage like there's this bus definitely doesn't lack storage at all um, So that's kind of the bedroom um, You know it lives and breathes it's super I'm not kidding you guys this mattress is so comfortable It is a queen size mattress. I should mention that so two people can easily sleep on this mattress and then if you have a third and it's like a kid or something, you can have them sleep on this bench. Um, but that's the bus. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, just to recap here. This is what it looks like. It's beautiful. All white. I did like a white beachy interior with turquoise and navy blues. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. So also on the door, this button right here actually connects the door, so it does work automatically. Um, if that but if that little red knob up there is engaged, um, this door will open and close automatically with this button. Um, card does need to be running for that. Um, so I can show you guys really quickly. So if we just engage, oops, actually let's close the door first. We're just going to engage this up here and then this button will open and close the door super simple um there is also an interior light which is pretty neat it's installed and then there's a backup um center which is cool so it's almost like a backup camera but not really but it will beep at you really loudly if you uh are about to hit something so moving on to interior storage areas, which there's a ton of, let me tell you. There's this whole shelf area up here, spans the width of the bus, and you can store a bunch of stuff up here. Like I had cameras and stuff and gear up here. There's also these connector pieces. They connect all of the marker lights, which are up here, like along the front. Um, and they collect them to the DC panel. And I'll show you that next. The DC panel is over here above the driver's seat. It used to be this really complicated panel and we decided to simplify it and just make it a 12 volt panel that connects all the blinkers, the marker lights, all the rear lights and the door. And that's it. It just connects to the battery and that goes down into under the bus and into the battery. All right, that's that. Um, then moving on to the inside of the bus so there is these curtains here that are really neat they are dark so night out curtains or whatever those are called and they are also heat barrier curtains so when you're here in the summer on this side it's really hot or it's kind of like hotter because the windows and the door but if you're on the other side it keeps it super cool so i installed those they were really that's a good investment um and then moving on to the inside of the bus so you can see it this is the home overview um so the bench is really neat um definitely if you wanted to could sleep somebody um but i always used it as a work area so i, I got one of those bed tables and i would set it on there and i would just work on there um and it's neat because you have like this huge window view that window also opens up with these um, so it says an emergency exit, but also like just you can have all around windows open. There's these little tiny windows that open um, It's really cool just for like an open-air feel um, Under this bench is the solar system Or in I should say in the bench um, There's also extra seat belts here so you can sit three people total the driver and two people here um this connects the or this turns on the inverter and controls it so you can see here like we're using two percent output and that's because the fridge is running right now um if we turn this off everything turns off so none of these 120 volt outlets will work everything 12 volt will still work um so you can use your fan you can use the 12 volt charging ports but it does turn off the fridge because i've had the you can technically plug the fridge in on the 12 volt um there's a connector for it um but i've had it plugged in on the 120 
um, and I just uh, generally I keep this on when I'm traveling so you'll see the orange light means it's using battery power if it's green that means you're plugged in on shore power and it's charging the batteries alarm means there's something wrong um, and it will turn itself off if that happens just fun fact there's two inverter settings inverter on and power saver on so uh, I've never really figured out what the difference is between the two but I usually put it on setting inverter on but if I'm in a really like I need to save power I put it on power saver mode which never really happens like I've never had I've never run out of power in this in this vehicle so actually I'll leave this on while I show you guys the solar system so underneath here is the solar system pretty cool solar com solar comes in right there and then it runs into the inverter I'm not inverter the uh, solar charge controller it is an 80 amp solar charge controller so it's it's like an overkill for my solar system but that's because I did this with the intention of being able to expand the solar system and the battery bank if needed so if it's blinking blue it's charging if it's solid blue it's um full like there's no charge needed then we have two 100 amp hour batteries here um and then this white wire uh it checks the battery temperature they literally never get hot though like they're fantastic they are lithium ion batteries i invested a ton in these and they're so worth it <clears throat> they also have a self shut off system so if it draws too much power um and the batteries can't handle it they turn themselves they go into a sleep mode so it shuts all your power off and then the only way to bring them back is to basically hijack the batteries um so you just connect these batteries with some um hijacking wires not hijacking what's the word uh jumper cables <laughs> with some jumper cables to your uh, car batteries which is neat because those are like right below here so you can just connect them and it literally takes a second and they're back to life they just need like a zap basically over here we have the DC panel this has all the DC stuff in it so any 12 volt charging ports I put in um, what else is what else is there's a bunch the lights forgot about the lights yeah the lights are all 12 volt um you know what there's probably more but i don't know right now um <laughs> this is the inverter um and yep it's running it's also an overkill i picked a huge inverter because i wanted to run the ac off of it so this inverter is actually like I don't know it's huge and it can run the inverter um, I just don't have physically enough battery power installed for it to do that but it could if you did add more batteries um, and then you see the orange ginormous cable that's for your 30 amp it goes directly into the inverter the inverter also connects back to the um, to the 120 240 volt uh, panel so that's the solar system. There is vent. Also really quickly want to talk about the length and just kind of like what's on the bus. Um, it is 25 feet long. <laughs> it's actually super easy to drive around and maneuver. There is the AC that's sitting up top there. It's an Evolution Domatic AC. And it, let me tell you, cools so nice. Like if you're sleeping in the bedroom back there and you have this AC on, it's freaking amazing. There's also two solar panels. One's on this side, one sits on the other side. In the center of the two panels is the max air fan that's in the front of the bus. Um, the solar panels and everything on top of the bus is screwed in. Uh, the bus's ceiling is fiberglass. So it is like internally suspended with metal beams. So it's not like it's gonna ever fall in or anything, but I didn't trust some people put 3m tape and they just tape on their solar panels i didn't trust that process so i screwed all my panels into the ceiling and then as you can see they're like super sealed with like silicone all around um so there's no leaks i did do leak tests on this bus as well none of it like it does not leak at all it's super sealed um, and actually when i first built the or bought the bus i redid all the windows so i took all the windows out and i put new 
um, sealant around it and then silicone it off so there's no leakage there either. Um, so yeah, this is the bus and I'll just do a quick walk around that's more external. The back of it, the sun's kind of angled funny here but you can see bumper's nice like it has no damage or anything. Oh, and this handle, um, fun fact, like it, it sits down and then if you move it to the left it opens but you have to push it all the way to the right to close it. Um, yeah, the back of the bus right there. And then we've got the left side of it right here. And you can see the other panel up there as well. Again, no dinks, dents, or anything like that. And then moving back around to the front. There it is. Awesome, thank you.